Hello, welcome to Taronga Zoo and QB Free Flight Birds. My name's Brendan and today we'll be bringing QB Free Flight Birds to your living rooms. Before I start the show today, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Kamaragal people. For tens of thousands of years, they've understood the connection between the land and its wildlife. And we here at Taronga feel very honored to try and follow in their footsteps as shared custodians for the wild. Now what's great about today is no matter where you're from or where you live, especially because you're at home, even if you have a balcony, make sure you're looking to the sky to watch these beautiful birds that are all around us. To kick off our show today though, we're going to be starting with one of my favorites, the black breasted buzzard. So we are looking up, those birds are looking down, searching for opportunities to feed. And for our first bird, the black breasted buzzard, an emu egg like this, is the ultimate prize. Our black-breasted buzzard goes by the name of Slammer. And although she has sharp talons and a sharp beak, that alone is not enough to get into this item. She needs the help of a tool, and that is a rock. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Now what we're witnessing is not something that we ever train Slammer to do. This behavior is instinct. She hatched out of her own egg. Yeah! With that knowledge already in her mind. <laughs> and you can see she is persistent with this. And that's because an emu egg like this is equivalent to around two days worth of food. So Slammer, yeah, we'll keep working at it until she gets inside. So she's made a small hole in that egg at the moment. Now, if this were a real emu egg, that would be enough for her to be able to sip out the contents because she wouldn't want to waste it. It's a lot of good nutrients for this animal. But because this is an item that we make here daily out of plaster, Slam has got to put in a little bit more effort to get to the food inside. Yeah, well done. And the final thing you've got to do is simply take yourself off home. <laughs> if you are anything like me, sometimes you might get the idea or feeling that you're being watched. And that's because owls are everywhere. You may not see them in your very own backyards, but they see you out in the country and even right here in the city. <laughs> Everyone, this is Ripley, our barking owl, and she hunts during the day. In fact, around half the world's owls regularly hunt in daylight. It's all about what they like to eat, and barking owls eat other birds. In fact, with these powerful feet, a bird like this could easily take down other birds that are larger than itself. As the sun goes down, though, barking owls will look to hunt other things like mice and rats, maybe even a possum, before returning to a safe branch to rest. Day and night, owls are out there feeding on pest species like introduced rats. Rats cause all kinds of problems for our native wildlife, often taking young chicks from the nest. So it's really great that we have these owls helping to restore the balance. Which is awesome because we used to have a bit of a problem with rats here at Bird Show. But luckily for us, those owls moved in, those rats moved out, and we can honestly say that that problem is behind us. Although owls have amazing eyesight, their prey just isn't always visible to them. So they have to rely on other adaptations to help them out, like silent flight and incredible hearing. We're gonna give you the chance to witness this bird fly around like a ghost today from your very own living rooms. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our barn owl, Wraith. Well done, buddy. So Wraith is a barn owl, making him one of the most common owls in the world and the type of owl you're more likely going to find close to people. So regardless of where you are, even in self-isolation, have a look around for you may see a bird like this flying past. 
All the birds we've shared with you so far are Australian natives. But hopefully, the next bird goes to prove that no matter where you are in the world, even your living rooms, we have the opportunity to appreciate those birds. This next, whoa! Hello there, everyone. This is our condor, Chimera. Now you can see, being a condor, she spends her time feeding on carcasses, like this skull of cattle. Now to help her out, she does have a couple of adaptations, one of which is that bald head. Although it looks bold, it's not. It's covered in small hair-like feathers. And that means any muck that gets on it simply dries and flakes on off, so she doesn't have many health issues herself. It does make eating the dead a very clean job. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the last 10 to 15 years, their numbers have dropped quite dramatically. And in lieu of them, unable to do their job as well, means other animals come in to undertake their role. But because they can't do it as effectively as a bird like this, we become more susceptible to diseases like anthrax and rabies. So if we know birds are like this out there looking after us, we need to do things in our everyday lives to look after them so that birds like Kinera don't just simply disappear. So if you know anything about Taronga, it's probably that we are for the wild, which is great and it means not only helping animals in the wild, but also right here in our care. And that extends to the magnificent wedge-tailed eagle. Ours goes by the name of Reggie. Now when it does come to these beautiful eagles, we have three different types, but I'm most proud of Reggie. He's my favorite bird here at QB, Free Flight Birds. And there he is now. Birds like this will easily fly for hours at a time, majestically riding the winds. He's even got a little friend today. Maintain your social distancing, guys. Wedgetail eagles are just one of the over 800 species of birds that call Australia home. But of that 800, 50 of them happen to be the parrots, which is amazing. And it means for many of us, all we have to do is look out those windows, to see these beautiful birds that are all around us. Hello. As we expand our cities and towns, we are making many changes to the landscape. And unfortunately, not all birds, including Geary, can adapt to these impacts. Birds like red-tailed black cockatoos do need old hollows in order to make a safe home. Here, it's a place for them to nest and to thrive. You may not have an old hollow in your own backyard, but if you'd like to, you can put up an artificial one. Birds like Geary really need your help to restore the balance. And that's something you can do at home right now to help out these incredible birds. Now, when it comes to helping birds like Geary, it really does go a long way. But there are some other birds like the galah that are doing quite well here in Australia. Unfortunately, because the case can't be said for all, we need your help. We're bringing Jasper right into your living rooms. So kids, what I want you to do is stand up where you are, put your arms right out to your side, flat to the sky. Doesn't matter if you're indoors, because Jasper's coming right to you. It's gonna land. Do a turn for style and come back to me. Very well done, Jasper. The power really is in the palm of your hands. And although you're at home in your living rooms, doesn't matter, you can still help us out. Now, normally, I would tell you about our donation box, but because you're not here, instead what you can do is, if you'd like to help out birds like Jasper and some of the amazing birds that you've seen today, you can jump online and drop a coin for Jasper that way. It does go a long way to ensure that the conservation efforts that Taronga works so hard towards will continue. And of course, with that being said, it is with your support that we see a bright future where our skies and your living rooms, courtesy of this, are brought right to you. And it all starts by simply looking out. Thank you so much for joining us today, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed having these birds brought right into your living rooms. And we look forward to sharing this with you very soon. 
Stay safe, everyone. See you next time. Ha, ha, ha.